The Labour Party was already dealing with charges of anti-Semitism over the weekend, so it is strange that the person in charge of the party's disputes panel wrote an email on Sunday defending a Labour Council candidate in Peterborough who posted on Facebook an article calling the Holocaust a hoax. Christine Shawcroft's email was leaked to the Daily Mail and uh, she resigned. She said she had erred in making a judgement about the man without looking at what he'd posted. Well, Jeremy Corbyn faces continuing criticism for not taking the problem uh, of anti-Semitism seriously enough. The argument is just simply not going away. John McDonnell, the Shadow Chancellor, went on the defence today. We've been angry this week because we thought we put in place with the Chakrabarti report and the decision to set up a legal panel to advise us all through this. We thought that was under implementation. It hasn't been implemented in the way that we wanted or speedily enough. So we've said, Jeremy Corbyn has said to the new general secretary who starts on Tuesday, your first task is to bring forward an action plan with a timetable in which we will deal with this issue and we'll deal with it in consultation with the Jewish community. We will eradicate anti-Semitism in our party and we'll go on to be the leading party that will seek to eradicate in our society. Well, we did ask the Labour Party uh, to come on and talk about this with us this evening. No one was available, but Lord Levy is with me in the studio. He's a Labour peer, former Middle East envoy. Uh, very good evening to you. Evening You've heard to what you. John McDonnell was saying there. Do you get a sense that the party is ready to get a grip on this? No, not at all. I don't think the party is really taking this seriously. as a zero-tolerance policy, I think. And I, if I may, I'd like to read something that I received yesterday. I see that you dare to criticise Labour leader. Who the hell are you to comment on Jeremy Corbyn? You are just another Jewish pig bloodsucker living on taxpayers' money. What are you doing in this country anyway? Why don't you piss off to Israel? We don't need Jewish bastards like you in this country. And that was an email you just... An unsolicited email you got. You, do you know who that is from? I don't. But you've reported it. This has been reported to that the police for them to follow up. And that would Absolutely. They may or may not Absolutely. follow up. But you don't know that that's a supporter of Jeremy Corbyn even. I mean, obviously they say I, they are, but they, uh, it's not someone who you could say... I don't. Right. But I know that but Jeremy... Are, but I know that Jeremy, Evan, was shown this email last night. Right. But he has... He would condemn that. You're not suggesting... Well, why that. hasn't he? Well, he saw it last night. He saw it last night. It was shown to him. It was shown to him last night. There's not been a word, Michael, we're so sorry. Michael, that's really just not on. But he on. has said a lot of words, in fairness but, to but him. But what has he done? He's given interviews and he's said... What has he done in action? He's spoken about taking a stand against anti-Semitism. Has he? Has he said that the lady who has now stood down from one position will now be removed from the NEC? Has he said that? No, he hasn't. You know, I don't want to make this personal right. against now, Jeremy Corbyn. Just, just one clarification. I, I, Are you I quite the sure? How, can I just be... Please. How, how do we know Jeremy Corbyn's seen the email out of interest? Because you've said... Because it was shown to him by the Labour leader of the Lords last night. She told me she showed it so to she, him. So she, she showed it Absolutely. to him. Absolutely. And what I want to know is exactly what you want Jeremy Corbyn to do. Because, not about, your letter, about this email but about anti-Semitism in the Labour Party, because Jeremy Corbyn has said lots of things right. about anti I can read you some things he said. I mean, he's condemned it, you know, in pretty strong terms. Um, anti-Semitism is completely wrong. He's called it a cancer. The fight is one that unites us all. So there's no point, is there, in asking him for words. You've got to ask him for something for that isn't words. Right. This so lady didn't look properly at what this gentleman... Christine from Shawcroft you're talking about. Christine yeah, Shawcroft. Yeah. Jeremy didn't look properly at that mural. You know, it's enough of this not looking at things properly. They're not deaf, dumb and blind. They need to take this seriously. There has to be a zero tolerance policy. The two leading Jewish organisations representing the community have written to Jeremy Corbyn asking him for a plan of action. They have specified what they want before they're prepared to hold a meeting. Right. They have, not, McDonald, they have John, not had right, a response. Right. And John McDonnell has said, and you heard him there saying... I did. The first job of the new General Secretary is come Tuesday, sit down and work out a plan of action because this is something with, we need timetable and we need action. And that... I mean, you haven't seen the they, plan yet because there hasn't been I drawn haven't. up yet. I but they've said Tuesday, is it? OK. Right. My answer is this. As I've said, I don't want this to be against my party. No, no. I don't want it to be against the leader of my party. 
I want zero tolerance across every political right. party and the media ever. That is what I want to see. But enough words. They haven't even answered this letter. They are just not taking this what? seriously. This and our community is really in angst about what is going on. I've never received such a disgusting can I, email. Can I, can I ask you this? Yes, sir. Why do you stay in a party led by someone who you think has not dealt with anti-Semitism seriously? I mean, that, that would surely be for you the kind of the entry qualification into a political party is like, let's, let's um, not have anti-Semitism and then we'll um, argue about all the other policies. Let me like, answer you. Yeah. I have as much right to be in that party as Jeremy Corbyn. But he's the leader. It's hold his on, party. It's not your party. It's, it's not party. his party. It's the party of millions of people who support the Labour Party. He happens to be the leader of the moment. This is not his party. Anyone who supports Labour, votes Labour, they're a shareholder in the party. So you're staying and they in the have, party. Hold you're on. Staying. They have every right to be in this party. As I've said before, my grandparents, my parents were members of this party. I want to see this party change. I want to see him to take action that is going to make me and many other in the Jewish community feel good about being in labor. Why should I quit? I want to make change happen. And you make change happen from inside heaven, not from outside. Lord Levy, you're staying. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.